Husqvarna is dedicated to providing consumers all over the world with outdoor power equipment of the highest quality, designed to achieve the best possible results. Your Husqvarna brush cutter has been designed to provide new levels of ease and comfort, making light work of thicker, heavier grass and brush. By using the trimmer head, you can also trim grass around your lawn, borders and other difficult to reach areas. Unique features include Smart Start, which takes the strain out of pulling the starter handle, and an automatic return stop switch that ensures the machine is always ready for the quickest possible start-up. The following guide will enable you to be properly prepared for using your brush cutter, help you maintain it and get the most out of it. Thank you for choosing a Husqvarna brush cutter. We trust that you will find using your Husqvarna machine enjoyable and rewarding. From the second you pick it up, to the moment you put it down. Before using the product, please take a little time to study the owner's manual. It will make the whole trimming and brush cutting experience safer and more pleasurable. Choose hearing protection that provides you with adequate noise reduction. Protection for your eyes is also essential. Wear protective glasses, even if you choose to wear a visor. The Husqvarna accessories range includes approved ear protectors, eye protectors and goggles. Gloves should also be worn when operating the machine, especially when fitting cutting attachments to your brush cutter. Footwear, preferably boots, should be sturdy and non-slip, and you should never use a brush cutter barefoot. Clothes should be made of strong fabric and avoid wearing loose clothing that can catch on bushes, branches or obstacles. Your machine also comes complete with a Husqvarna harness. This will help you handle and operate your brush cutter more safely and comfortably. Your brush cutter is powered by an efficient two-stroke engine. Always use a mixture of petrol and two-stroke engine oil. For your convenience, there's a pre-mixed petrol available. If you choose to mix petrol and engine oil yourself, please use a good quality engine oil and mix oil and petrol in the correct ratio. More information can be found in your owner's manual. The harness has been provided to make work as comfortable and safe as possible. In fact, a well-adjusted harness will make the job feel much easier. The brush cutter with a bull horn handle is equipped with a double harness. The brush cutter with a J handle is equipped with a single strap harness. Begin by adjusting the two shoulder straps so the chest plate sits by your sternum. Then adjust the side strap so the chest plate is centered on your chest. Adjust the shoulder straps so the load is spread evenly over your shoulders. Push the hip pad downwards to ensure the load is even. Adjust the hip pad strap so the cutting equipment sits parallel to the ground. The front of the harness has also been equipped with a quick release button. In the event of an emergency, it will enable you to disengage from the harness and brush cutter in the shortest possible time. The six stage decal on the top of the brush cutter will help remind you which startup procedure to follow. Thanks to the Smart Start feature, starting your brush cutter should be as easy as possible. Here's how to start your machine from a cold engine. If you've purchased a model with bullhorn handle style, begin by engaging the fast idle function on the throttle handle. Firmly press the fuel pump bulb 10 times until you can see fuel filling the bulb. However, the bulb does not need to be completely filled. Then push the choke lever fully to the left, to its full choke position. With the engine held firmly on the ground with your left hand, grip the starter handle with your right hand and pull the handle, quickly and powerfully, three times. Continue by sliding the choke lever to the half choke position. Pull the starter handle again until the engine properly starts. To finish, simply switch the choke lever back to the off position. However, if you've purchased a model with bullhorn handle style, finish by pushing the trigger on the throttle handle to abort fast idle and return to idle mode. Starting the engine from warm is even easier. If you have purchased a model with bullhorn handle style, begin by engaging the fast idle function on the throttle handle. Switch the choke to the half choke position, then pull the starter cord quickly and powerfully 
until the engine starts. As before, finish by switching the choke lever back to its off position. However, if you've purchased a model with bullhorn handle style, finish by pushing the trigger on the throttle handle to abort fast idle and return to idle mode. A combination of quality engineering and ergonomic design make trimming and brush cutting tasks both enjoyable and efficient. The brush cutter will remove grass and weeds at the edge of your lawn and in other places your lawn mower cannot reach, such as against walls, fences, trees and borders. To get the best results, follow these few simple tips. Hold the trimmer head at an angle just above the ground. More cord is fed when the trimmer head and its blue knob is bumped or pushed into the ground during full throttle. There is a knife on the cutting equipment guard that adjusts the line to the appropriate length if too much cord is fed. It is the end of the line that does the work. For efficient grass cutting, the cord length should be close to the maximum length. You also need a high rotational speed on the trimmer head. By using the rotational direction of the trimmer head, you will be able to avoid spraying grass cuttings on paths and other areas where you do not want them. However, a little caution is also required. The power and speed of the line does mean that without care, you can damage sensitive bark on trees and bushes, fence posts or garden furniture. The grass blade is designed to handle longer, thicker grass and brush. With a little practice, you will also be able to use your brush cutter to pile longer grass into lines as you cut it, making for easier collection and disposal of your cuttings. When grass is cut from right to left, the sweep makes the grass fall into lines. Sweep the brush cutter from right to left, release the throttle trigger to idling when you go back to start a new sweep. To switch from the trimmer head to the grass blade, follow these simple steps. Begin by inserting the locking pin into the bevel gear. Then, simply unscrew the trimmer head from the threaded bevel gear output shaft. The grass blade, together with the support cup, can then be attached to the bevel gear and secured with the washer and nut. Always be sure to tighten the nut securely with a wrench. To replace and reload the line in your trimmer head, begin by locating the two buttons on either side of the trimmer head. Push these two buttons to release both the spool housing and spool that will hold the cutting line. Remove the spool from the spool housing. Release six meters of new line and fold it double. Hook the looped end of the folded line onto the spool and begin winding. Try to keep the line as tight as possible and avoid crossing the lines they should run in parallel around the spool. Continue winding until you are left with approximately 15 centimeters of line. Then feed each end of the line into the two locking holes on the spool. Replace the spool in the spool housing. After the spool is put back into the spool housing, fold the cord ends into the slots of the metal eyelets. When you have clicked the spool housing back onto the brush cutter, more cord is fed when the trimmer head and its blue knob is bumped or touches the ground during full throttle. There is a knife on the cutting equipment guard that adjusts the line to the appropriate length if too much cord is fed. It is the end of the line that does the work. For efficient grass cutting, the cord length should be close to the maximum length. You also need a high rotational speed on the trimmer head. To maximize the efficiency of your grass blade, it is important to sharpen the blade on a frequent basis, and the cutting attachment packaging will give you detailed sharpening instructions. You should sharpen the grass blade using a good quality single cut flat file. It is important to sharpen all edges equally to maintain balance and cutting efficiency of the blade. We hope that you have found this film informative and inspiring. Enjoy your Husqvarna garden and your brush cutter.